We know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. A wise decision. inside the animus which is it's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions genetic memory seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial <sighs> very well we'll start simple what is a memory mr. miles it's the recollection of a past event Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. <laughs> now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it. The fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Hello, I'm uh, Kalef11, and we are morning. playing Assassin's Davis Creed 1. Davis this Davis is going to be one of the actual games I'm playing. I'll be uploading to YouTube. Um, Hello, Subject 17. I've been this played. tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus. I've only played. System. I'm not even aware of the voice. I'm not even positive though. Um, I've only played one, maybe two, and Brotherhood. Now I own all of them. Besides Valhalla, since that's not on Steam. And I'm going to be working my way through them. I've never played this on on PC before. I played it on console back in the day. I have an issue with my controller right now, so I will not be playing it on controller. Um, Instructions will follow shortly. Are there no subtitles? Okay. 
also. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. For a note, if, you ever if anybody tries playing this, sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. From PC where you are the currently is dangerously get close to, the to desynchronization. To so Please you'll need follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore it. system stability. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. Unloading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. Good. Use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Okay. Well done. So if you use look around, shift is gentle. The animus differentiates between two fundamental actions, low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile <laughs> actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. Okay, that's right, mouse click. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. Shift. However, I mean, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the so ground. Yeah, that's While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. As reactive as I Well done. So he tries to beat the running tutorial. The animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Now, select your hidden blade. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed, as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. He's an assassin! Notice how the social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. Where are you? Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. 
Now, run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Good. Your social status indicates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. That's right. You do well to hide. Well done. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. Being anonymous will fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Let us continue with the demonstration of Blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker Very behind soldiers. Very scholarly, all these weapons on me. Scholars are always Good. armed to the teeth. Always. Now that you are fully synced, a new ability is available to you. Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Well done. Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life, or by respecting the creed. You have successfully completed the tutorial. The most stable memory block will now be loaded. Okay. We're almost Wait. in. There must be another way. This one need not die. An excellent skill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Master's taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. Is 
assume there that there is. That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. The Ark it's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet. Someone's yeah. coming. My face is less blurred now. What is that? I have a life is mine. I can try. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair. You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy. And here we have a chance to be so rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. I might try it here. Templars, you are not the only ones with business here. Ah, well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Backwards. Okay, I thought I was locked when I wasn't, and I wasn't locked when I thought I was. Okay. that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay, and all of you will die. Well, we just got a tutorial to not break the codes, and like Altier is like a huge code breaker. Mens, to arms! Kill the assassin! Let's switch. I had to switch my the sensitivity. The, the click on the other one wasn't activating properly, which is what caused my issues. And I had to rejig the sensitivity on this mice. I actually just had both plugged in. I had to configure this one a little bit. But this the mice is brand new. It's a G502, so it should be more than good enough. Just haven't had time to fully configure it yet. I do remember how climbing works. So it actually is a tutorial climb wall. Skipping part of memory to a more recent one. Altair, you've returned! Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. 
My thanks, brother. Safety and peace out there. On you as well. Pushback radius on this run is fucking enormous. There it is, boys. I think I remember this this part, but I don't remember most of this game. too many issues around here. That looks like it's waiting ah, for me. He returns at last. Abbas. Where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. So if you see stuttering, it's not the actual video, it's an issue with the game. So what's happening right now is the mouse overextends the game just a bit. Okay, that helps with the left side. Oh, and that helped with down. Cool. Cool. We're good. So, I'm using a program to lock it to this screen, because that's where the game is. And on left or down, it was going out of the game. Altair, Master, come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. Not another word. It's not happy. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No. You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No. Not dead. Malik. I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! 
Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Are people dead back here? I got trouble in the room here. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. Okay. As you wish. I don't know how I'll be, but I was already really good with the counter. Protect their room. Al-Mu'alim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should yes. become clear soon enough. The assassin dive into their flanks. I think it's called a falcon dive. It might be an eagle 
dive in this game because Eagle Vision. I don't remember what happens. I feel like this is where I am no longer with the people. Stand on that platform, Altai. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good! Then they shall have it all around! Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. Wait. We walk Oh, on beams. I was thinking we had to go on the road. Even in the new games, it's easier to make room to get on the memes, and then you can just high profile through the memes. Because low profile will never make you jump. This is a more like, okay, you did the first climb, this is how you actually climb. It's a lot more like, where's the next ledge? Oh, it's this way. Go up to the tip. Probably just go to that window here. No? Probably just wall run up that window. Can you go? to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us I feel again. like they take me out Tell right me. here. Do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair, all of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets. Assassin. seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent. I know. And stay your tongue. Unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, 
Then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Was he? Your insolence knows. Yeah, why was he mouth. there if he was innocent? Like, Make humble your heart, child. Why is he just listening to two not as good assassins? The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet. The it wasn't worst really of all option. your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every well, actually, man we no, lost they today the other was guys. lost because of you. I... I am sorry. Truly, it's I am. kind of just wrong. I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. He's trying to kill him. That's a pretty bad wound to kill. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. I. Once I get up, I'll end this episode. It's the epilogue. The prologue. Yeah, the prologue. Epilogue is the end. Prologue. I know English. Technically my first language. Well, thank you guys for joining me so far. We'll, as Desmond, explore outside the Animist now. Um, I'm having fun. I really am going to enjoy working through all the Assassin's Creed. I hope you guys do too. Have a great time. Bye.